Hi, this is Dr. Duran and welcome back to Jerry Talks. So many patients have asked me about Prevagen and uh, for the people who doesn't know, Prevagen is an over-the-counter supplement that claims to support your brain health and improve your memory. Prevagen comes in different presentations, comes in tablets and comes in chewable tablets too, in uh, 10, 20 and 40 uh, milligrams of aquaforin. Aquaforin is the main ingredient for Prevagen and um, this protein was found in certain types of jellyfish. You know, it is interesting that it also was found with another protein called the green fluorescent protein. And uh, the discovery of this protein actually was made the winner of the 2008 Chemistry Nobel Prize because of the, how the, they found how the jellyfish actually fluorescent at night or during the night. Aquaforin, you know, the research of aquaforin has been very limited um, because it's, uh, it's not clear really how the medication or how this protein works and eventually if that, medic if that protein actually make it all the way to the brain. Um, the research is very limited and if you go to back to the website on, uh, on um, Prevagen, on the main website, they, they base their findings in a very small study that the company did. This company is uh, Quincy Bioscience. Uh, and usually what they did is they took um, um, 200 people, just they studied for 90 days, and um, based on that 90 days, they took a certain, they modified the data to certain 60, you know, they presented data only for 60 days, and they're saying that, you know, people who take obviously, you know, Prevagen had some, some kind of improvement with memory compared to the people who were not taking it or placebo. Um, However, you know, it was uh, very concerning. I think also what it was concerning is that, you know, they were not using the common, you know, memory testings that we do on a regular basis. So that would get got very questionable. And uh, usually the data, we don't, it was very short term and we don't know really the effects long term. Um, so very, you know, a lot of people question that, you know, they also Prevagen got in trouble with the FDA and the FTC, who is the Federal Tra uh, Trade Commission about how they market the medication, about saying that it improved the memory. Um, usually they were not FDA, this is medication is not FDA approved. So that means that, you know, they didn't go into certain steps. However, they were marketing as a medication. And uh, at some point uh, um, the FDA, um, uh, they, were, um, they were sued, the FDA, uh, the F, uh, uh, Prevagen was, uh, I'm sorry, was sued by the Federal Trade Commission about um, false claims that, you know, the medication was not helping for memory. So, but, you know, even though the FDA wrote a letter, you know, they still, you know, were able to, you know, they said they sold, they sold like 100, 165 millions from 2000 and 2007 to 2017 just alone. And I think the marketing and the, and the presence of the medic of the, of the of Prevagen has been even more and more, especially even recently. Not uncommon that people come uh, with me asking for any type of solution when it comes to memory loss. So, you know, since Prevagen has been good on marketing, on, you know, in supporting your brain and potentially stop decline on your memory, you know, they have, uh, you know, I see many people, you know, interested in taking Prevagen. Um, the other concern with Prevagen is that, you know, it's, a, it's not a human protein. So eventually when it comes to your stomach, you know, any protein eventually gets potentially digested by an enzyme that is called pepsin. And pepsin is, is, the most common, is the most common enzyme found in your digestive system. So the claims is that even though that uh, we might be able to get the protein, uh, and even though if they do work as they claim, you know, the reality is that most probably is not getting to our brain because it's being digested in our stomach. And uh, since they haven't done any studies or they haven't, uh, they haven't let the FDA they have the FDA kind of going to the medication. Obviously, we don't know really if uh, those, you know, the aquaforin actually reach your brain and, at, and potentially at what level. I guess the, the situation with aquaforin is that, you know, it is similar to a certain protein that we have in your brain that, you know, is part of the metabolism of uh, the metabolism of the calcium. And uh, I guess that's what they scientific. They claim that eventually that uh, protein may help with the calcium. Uh, at the level of the neurons and potentially uh, protecting the cells, uh, you know, that they're affected by, 
by memory loss. However, as I said, it's not FDA approved and had not been proven to be the case. Um, I think, you know, one of the things that, you know, is, is very interesting is that since they're not FDA approved, if you go to their website, they usually, they said about, you know, how we can improve your memory. But at the end of the, you know, at the sort of some part of the website, it, it claims says that these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So that usually kind of something that we do see a lot on all supplement manufacturers, you know, to avoid getting in trouble with the FDA. So I guess, you know, that's, that's where we, what we use about the Prevagen. Um, there's, uh, there's, as I said, there's uh, multiple concerns, you know, it's not FDA approved, it's not a, it doesn't help with memory. Um, I know that I do see a lot of patients, you know, that they're still, you know, have some faith in the medication. Um, but I guess based on the evidence, you know, there's no really no evidence that the medication actually really works. And get me, don't get me wrong, the medication is expensive. And that's what I have to tell people, you know, it's just like, be careful where you're spending your money. You know, just like a, uh, uh, there's a 60 pill, a 60 pill bottle is $75. And um, uh, with the 10 milligrams, and then there's $90 for 30 pills on the professional formula they claim is the 40 milligrams. So it's not a cheap medication and, uh, you know, based on that evidence, you know, it's really not worth, you know, there's no evidence that improve your memory. And uh, if you're thinking of buying it or you have been taking it, I would encourage you that probably put your money somewhere else because this medication, I don't think it helps much. So again, there are other medications. There are no medications to improve your memory. There are medications that may slow the progression we can definitely talk to in other time, you know, about these medications, but uh, feel free to consult with your primary care doctor if you're thinking or you're taking this medication. Otherwise, you know, we're, we're here to help at Southwest Center on Aging. Um, we're happy to we consult. We specialize in memory problems and dementia. So thank you very much for your time. And again, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter, Jerry Talks. You'll follow the link and uh, let's celebrate aging. Thank you.